different from other kids his age. He had developmental issues, but it wasn't until four or five years later that he was diagnosed with autism. During that time, I had already been looking into options for him for schooling, but I kept coming up empty. I realized how little is available in Trinidad and Tobago for those with special needs outside of the private schools, which are very expensive. And that's where the inspiration for my organization, Support Autism TNT, came from. I wanted to create a space for young people with autism to be themselves and provide them with access to resources and educational tools that can help them succeed. We organize activities and special events that are sensory friendly and in quiet places so they can enjoy comfortably. For example, children with autism often find shopping malls to be too loud, crowded, and too uncomfortable, especially during the holidays. So we organize meetings with Santa in a quieter, safer setting so that they can still have that experience of meeting Santa. We also put on events where they can participate and showcase their talents. We've had children with autism who dance, they play the piano, and they take part in our fashion shows. It's all about providing them with opportunities. Now, one of the best parts of Support Autism TNT is our volunteer program. We have over 200 young volunteers helping us to run the organization, and they do an amazing job connecting with the kids in our program. These young volunteers get together to conceptualize ideas for the program and put them into action. And it gives them the opportunity to be creative and to connect with people who are different than them. The goal is to create a space where those with autism can feel comfortable and be with people who understand and accept them. Unfortunately, here in Trinidad and Tobago, there's a stigma associated with people who have developmental disabilities. People think that they can't live a normal life, that there's no space for them, that they're a burden on society and they can't accomplish anything. I've even had parents tell me that people laugh at them, laugh at their kids in public. But we need to understand that just because someone is different, it doesn't mean that they're lesser than us. What I love most about my nephew Raoul is what makes him different. And having a disability certainly doesn't make someone a burden. They have their own set of abilities. And our job is to provide them with opportunities where they can use those abilities and they can shine. Having such an incredible group of young volunteers have really helped us to accomplish that. A lot of these volunteers are your age. And when they get to spend time with other young people who are different than they are, they become more compassionate and accepting. Of course, I would love to have you involved with my organization. But more importantly, I want you to get involved with anything that you're passionate about. Whether it's at your school, in your church, or in your community, find an organization that you connect with and volunteer. Your generation is the next generation of leaders the next generation of teachers and doctors and politicians. And you will be the ones to shape your communities, your country and the world. When you put your time and passion into helping others, you can shape a future that is accepting of all people in this world. Thank you, Edith.